Let's talk about tomorrow's stage. Stage 15 goes into the Jura mountain range. It's a massive GC day. 184 kilometers from, from Lyon and goes up to the Grand Colombier. But it's not just going there. They're actually going to do three different climbs on the Grand Colombier to get to the mountaintop finish. They do 100K of, of relatively flat terrain. There's a sprint line at 58K, which will really favor Sam Bennett as long as he still has his legs under him after today. <laughs> then they've got two Cat 1 climbs. The first climb gets super steep at the end with ramps up to 14%. The final uh, H climb is an HC climb to the finish, 17 kilometers at 7% average with ramps to 12%. It's almost 10,000 feet of climbing in the last 75 kilometers. Just a brutal day. How do you think it's going to play out? Well, you know, again, it, that is a kind of day really set up for the breakaway. And, you know, a team like Jumbo is going to hope for a breakaway that with no real threat in their, in their position um, to just go up the road, they're going to give them 10 minutes. But, you know, you can, there's always a wild card in these kinds of scenarios. You get a guy who's close on GC and you get a bunch of strong blokes up the road just ripping it. And those stages, I've always found to be very strange, the ones where it's flat coming into uh, a very hard final, like with uh, a bunch of climbs or just one very hard finish climb because the legs, it's such a transition when you're riding on the flats, riding at 50K an hour on the wheels, and then boom, you just hit these climbs after you know already a pretty long day. And now you're, you're ripping it in the mountains and so I, I, I just feel like the best case scenario for a team like Jumbo is that a, a break goes up the road, no real threat, and they're just going to ride all day. But in saying that, it's the Tour de France. Anything can happen. And like I said, you never can count for that real wild card maneuver. You know, that guy who's five, 10 minutes, you know, on the GC and a strong climber and is on a day. And uh, I think that's where these these kind of stages get very exciting because they can really shake things up. So who do you think who's going to win the stage? Well, look, <laughs> put I, you on put you on the spot. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if things play out like I think, I'm really going to say uh, these two Slovenians have just been <laughs> unbelievable in my mind. I just I feel like I'm watching Roglic and you know Poshkar. He he is the attacking. He's the young guy. He's He's the guy who can accelerate, but Roglic is just, he's basically, he's, he's able to stay with everyone. And then when he sniffs that finish, you know, he, he can handle the, the steep ramps. And as soon as he gets close to the finish, there's basically no one who can outride him to the finish. He's not necessarily sprinting. He's just doing like a maximal power effort that no one seems to have that kind of uh, anaerobic power to, to come over top of him. So, I don't know if I, I I'm going to put it on the two Slovenians again because I feel like that climb also suits them. I mean, it was it was a fantastic ride by Martinez the other day, but I feel like it's going to be like kind of the start of this this real GC hit out and uh yeah, I, but in saying that I could be totally wrong and the breakaway could could stay away with 10 minutes and and uh it'll be a new face which also is exciting as well. <laughs> Okay, so, so the I'm break's not going to survive. Yes, it, it, the break won't survive. You're, you'll pick Roglic, I'll pick Pogacar, and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay. It's going to be an exciting day tomorrow. Really fun. I can't wait to watch it.